from the same book pathfinder for g advanced and olympiads so this is from the topic of impulse momentum uh, from the section check your understanding question number 14 here uh, let's see what is given a toy similar to a letter h uh, this is it the toy similar to letter h in the uh, in shape is made by fixing two identical cylinders so these two identical cylinders uh, joined by a light rod of length l the toy is placed on a frictionless horizontal floor which uh, terminates into a uniform frictionless slope of inclination theta cylinders are parallel to the line joining the floor and the slope find the range of the velocity we given to the toy towards the slope so that it can ride completely on the slope that means we will consider a velocity v so that the final position of the ball is like this so it can stop here right so now let's see what happens here so when this ball collides okay so there is impulse so impulse given by the normal reaction that is j okay so impulse given uh, is equal to j so and you know it very well that just after the impact this will be velocity v naught i mean let's name the ball say and b so velocity of the ball b will be v naught and uh, what will be velocity of the ball a to find velocity of the ball a what we do is that uh, obviously velocity of ball a is along the horizontal direction okay and we can equate the velocity components along this uh, rod right so i mean uh, that's v naught cos theta so uh, velocity of ball a is itself uh, v naught cos theta okay now uh, what we can do we can conserve momentum uh, we can conserve momentum in a direction in a direction perpendicular to uh, this j the impulse that means uh, we can conserve momentum in a direction perpendicular uh, uh, conserve momentum along this inclined plane right so along this inclined plane momentum can be conserved because the impulse of the force is perpendicular to this inclined plane j okay so uh, momentum before and after we can equate so that means so, uh, so initial momentum perpendicular to this uh, j vector is equal to final momentum perpendicular to the j vector so that means before it was achha, uh, suppose mass of each ball is m we can consider mass of uh, each of the cylinders a and b is equal to m so you know 2 mv that is before impact 2 mv cos theta is equal to m v naught plus uh, m v naught cos theta into cos theta cos square theta see because you know that uh, we have to calculate momentum components so uh, this v naught is already along this incline so this we have to find the component of uh, velocity of a perpendicular to uh, this vector j so that happens to be v naught cos theta again cos theta so that means uh, v naught cos square theta okay so that's one equation let's uh, write it down again so this happens to be 2 v cos theta is equal to v naught times 1 plus cos square theta so let us keep it as equation uh, 1 now let's see uh, what else clue we have from here one more uh, clue we have is um, that we can apply work energy work energy principle here that means 
so we can uh, say this this is state 1 state 1 and that is state 2 right final condition is state 2 so this system moves from state 1 to state 2 so we can uh, write that the loss in kinetic energy is gain in potential energy because at state 2 the ball is at I mean that system is just at rest system is at rest at uh, state 2 ok so that means now uh, what we can do now is that let us equate so kinetic energy at uh, state 1 is equal to potential energy at state 2 I mean uh, rather we can uh, write uh, loss in kinetic energy or delta is equal to delta that means here it is uh, loss loss in kinetic energy and there you have gain in potential energy ok so you get one more equation so what is kinetic energy at state 1 kinetic energy at uh, state 1 is half m v naught square plus half m uh, v naught square cos square theta is equal to uh, potential energy that means you see the height gained so the height gained is equal to l by 2 cos uh, sin theta so l by 2 sin theta right that means see when this final condition of this so that is the center of mass of the system so what is the height of center of mass above ground obviously that is L by 2 sin theta so we can write kinetic energy is gain in potential energy that means uh, total mass is 2m uh, uh, g into L by 2 sin theta or you can consider only gain in potential energy of the ball B that is also comes the same because anyway a uh, ball A does not uh, gain potential energy that is still in the ground level so therefore we can write simplify it V naught square uh, times 1 plus cos square theta is equal to uh, 2GL times sin theta so that is equation 2 Yeah. So uh, from one and two, let's see. Uh, therefore, from one and two, we get a two v cos theta is equal to v naught now we will substitute v naught as uh, root over 2 g l sin theta divided by 1 plus cos square theta uh, v naught times 1 plus cos square theta 